after more than 100 days of congressional investigations. Just earlier today, the House Oversight Committee dropped a bombshell new report. You can see it up on screen for yourself, detailing how Joe Biden's family received over $10 million in payments coming largely from foreign entities. And then furthermore, how the Biden family then used a giant network of shell companies to obfuscate where the money was actually coming from. However, oddly enough, Despite the fact that this report is based on hard evidence, including things like bank records and company documents, it appears that there is a complete media blackout. Because no matter which news outlet you went to today, be it The New York Times, CNN, MSNBC, ABC, Newsweek, The Washington Post, Vice, The Huffington Post, BBC News, all of them had the story nowhere to be seen. It's kind of amazing when you consider what the freedom of the press actually means when our supposedly free press here in America just seems to run cover for the administration. Regardless, though, let's dive into the actual findings of this report. Now, to start with, earlier today in the morning, the House Oversight Committee held a short conference wherein they both dropped the report and explained what they found. Here's a brief clip from that conference giving you a high-level overview of what this Biden investigation actually yielded. I want to be clear. This committee is investigating President Biden and his family's shady business deals that capitalize on Joe Biden's public office and risked our country's national security. This committee has a duty to ask questions and pursue the facts no matter where they take us. Through the committee's investigation, we intend to provide transparency to the American people and reach legislative solutions. In only four months, since obtaining subpoena authority, we have made astonishing progress. Today, we'll talk about that progress. First, we want to discuss information the committee has learned since our last press conference in November. New information investigators have uncovered regarding the transfer of money from foreign entities to the Biden family. And it's very, it's very, very frustrating. We have now been able to clearly see that the Biden's associates, like Rob Walker, Eric Sherman, as has been discussed, created at least 16 companies while Joe Biden was vice president of the United States. 16 companies created while he was vice president. Now the list is 20, and as we continue our investigation, that list is growing. And like I said before, the question is to serve what purpose? And the purpose of all these companies being created is to conceal money that the Biden family has been gaining, gain, gaining because Joe Biden has been sitting at the upper echelon of our politics for almost five decades. That is the entire purpose here. Here's an example of what I mean. You have Rosemont Seneca Partners, Rosemont Seneca Advisors, Rosemont Seneca Technology Partners, RSP Holdings, RSTP2 Alpha, RSTP2 Bravo, Rosemont Seneca Thornton, Rosemont Seneca Bohai. I want to make sure I pronounce it right. Bohai. B-O-H-A-I. And the list goes on and on. Cycling through this many companies serves no legitimate purpose. And as somebody who actually worked in banking, I did that long before I came here. Whenever there was like this many companies just laying all over the place, and you see wire transfers and cashier checks over here, going to random members of the family for no apparent purpose at the size and velocity at which all of this was being conducted, the only logical conclusion of a financial professional is you are concealing money. Now, specifically, the banking and other records that they were able to uncover, they show what, what can only be described as a complex money laundering scheme, which involved millions of dollars, many of them coming from foreign countries, given to all these different shell companies, which then wound up getting into the pockets of different Biden family members. And in terms of those family members, take a listen as this member of Congress lays out all the people that they found receiving some of these foreign transactions. Joe Biden's son, Joe Biden's brother, Joe Biden's brother's wife, Hunter Biden's girlfriend or Bo Biden's widow, however you wanted to write that, Hunter Biden's ex-wife, Hunter Biden's current wife, and three children of the president's son and the president's brother. So we're talking about grandchild, a grandchild. That's odd. Most people that work hard every day's grandchild doesn't get 
a wire from a foreign national or anything like that. So Now, this 36-page report, which was just dropped this morning by the House Oversight Committee, and you can see it once again up on your screen, it lays out the findings point by point. And in fairly great detail, this report shows how, in their 100-day-long investigation, Congress was able to uncover thousands of bank records, as well as the legal documents for nearly a dozen LLC companies that were established by the Biden family in order for them to receive payments from private clients, from corporations, as well as from foreign governments, including from places like China, as well as Romania. Here is part of what the report says in this regard. Quote, Biden family members and business associates created a web of over 20 companies. Most were limited liability companies formed during Joe Biden's vice presidency. Bank records show the Biden family, their business associates, and their companies received over $10 million from foreign nationals companies. The committee has identified payments to Biden family members from foreign companies while Joe Biden served as vice president and after he left public office. Then the report went on to detail how after Joe Biden left the vice presidency, the money just kept rolling in. But it was rolling in in a way that made it hard to track the actual source of it. Here's what it says, quote, Despite creating many companies after Vice President Biden took office, the Biden family used business associates companies to receive millions of dollars from foreign companies. After foreign companies sent money to business associates companies, the Biden family received incremental payments over time to different bank accounts. These complicated financial transactions appear to conceal the source of the funds and reduce the conspicuousness of the total amounts made into the Biden bank accounts. Chinese nationals and companies with significant ties to Chinese intelligence and the Chinese Communist Party hid the source of the funds by layering domestic limited liability companies. Now, on this program, on Facts Matter, we have, in previous episodes, already covered some of the publicly known examples of this alleged influence peddling, such as when Hunter Biden would fly to places like China and Mexico with his father aboard Air Force Two. While there, he would then meet with his quote-unquote business partners, and then magically, large sums of money would just start flowing. There are many examples of something like this happening in places like China, Mexico, Ukraine, as well as Kazakhstan. Now, for many months now, both Joe Biden and the White House have denied any of these allegations. In fact, within this report, they cited an earlier statement of denial that was made by Joe Biden when some of these allegations, specifically the ones about China, first began coming to light. Here's specifically what Joe Biden is quoted as saying as a part of this report. Quote, my son, meaning Hunter, has not made money in terms of this thing, what you are talking about, China. I have not had the only guy who has made money from China is this guy, meaning Donald Trump. He's the only one. Nobody else has made money from China. However, the bank records appear to paint a, you can say, slightly different story. According to the Congressional Oversight Report, quote, the bank records refute President Biden's statement. To date, President Biden has continued to deny that his family received money from China, despite bank records proving otherwise. In 2017 alone, bank records show President Biden's family and their related companies received millions of dollars from Chinese foreign nationals companies. This amount does not include payments from Ukraine, Kazakhstan, Mexico, Romania, Oman, or other foreign business deals the committee is investigating. Furthermore, according to publicly available information that's already out there, it appears that the money within the Biden family, including the Biden extended family, is rather fungible, meaning it easily moves from one pocket to the other.